So this is what I'm doing here. I'm editing. <laughs> I'm editing out specs from my film scans of pinholes. Oh, let's see. Let's put this print size. So this pinhole that I took walking down the street in San Francisco. Um, and I'm getting bored. <laughs> uh, Avery and I took a long walk today. We did our walk down to the um, to the river, and I thought I might drive out to Forest Green Farm and uh, maybe get some plants and some different herbs from their shop, and then maybe go to Carter Mountain Orchard and get some apples. And then I just it was I didn't feel like doing a lot of driving around by myself. And then I was sitting around not getting anything done after we <laughs> took our walk because it was, it's still a little warm out. I mean, it's much better, but it's still warm. So I paid some bills and then I was going to work on some photos that I just kind of scrapped for, well, I put on my, I, I wrote a little blog post about it. Um, and I thought, oh, I can make a little video and show you what I've done around the house. I finally decorated for my, uh, autumn decorations. Well, this isn't anything. This is just my little new altar cloth here. And I'll show you the, the garden, the buckwheat's coming up outside, so that's kind of cool. Oh, so it's kind of a lazy day. I can't really go out. I was, gonna think, I was thinking, well, maybe I can go out and go to Carter Mountain Orchard tomorrow, but um, Rocco's going to come and stay, so I'm going to be around the house tomorrow. So, anyway, let's see here. So I got all my different little lights up. I've got these little, these little autumny, um, they're like little leaf lights. Those are on a, on a battery pack. And I got these from Jude. Aren't these just the cutest little boxes? I might send a couple to my kids. Put some candy in them. <laughs> like kids in their 20s need that. Um, brought out my little my little owl votives. Um, got my pumpkin lights up and my skeleton candles that I didn't burn last year. And I've got these little these little guys in here. Those little ghosty lights. And I so I these lights are on the kind of on copper wire and I had them around here. And so I moved them over here, and I'd gotten two more of these little garlands from Michael's. So I intertwine the, um, the little white lights into the garland. And that's, <laughs> this is such a funky old, it's like I, I had that since the kids were little. And it's like really kind of junky, but it has sentimental value to me. And so out here I put, I'm not going to turn them on right now, but I put orange lights. Well, what the hell. I'll turn them on. I might put some on my arbor. I don't know. We'll see. So I got the orange lights out here. Oh, that reminds me. I have one other, one other piece I can put a lantern thing I have. And there's Avery. She had a nice walkies today. And now she's tired. And so I have another one of those cloths. I made these last year. I had bought the, um, <clears throat> bought the fabric. <clears throat> this was in a pack of three candles at Costco. And that one's mold cider. And it smells really good. And I have my little, uh, little runner on there. And let's see. I've got orange lights around, around the window here, too. So I've got those, and I've got my little, these little, little votive light, or tea light holders too, which are really cool. I've had those for a number of years. I got them at um, Pier 1. And let's see, I've got this little setup that I've had for quite some time. These ones, these guys, are and and these guys are as old as the the um, <clears throat> um, wind chime. Those are from the Oriental Trading Company, and these I got 
at I think it was Joanne's years ago as well. So that's my that's that little setup. And there's my the witches in cauldron. And usually I put these guys over the window there, but I thought, oh no, I'm gonna put them here instead. And these these little things are so cute. I got these, I think these are Oriental Trading Company as well. So I've got a few of these around the house. Um, little ceramic things too. Oh, and this. This is a Polaroid that I took. Like, ah, let's see. Let's see how, how are we gonna show you this? That's not really gonna help any. Um, oh, maybe you can see it like that. That's a Polaroid that I took years ago back in, let me see, I think it says 2006, 2010. I didn't, well, I guess it was, I don't remember. I, yeah, I guess, well, 2010 was six years ago, duh. Oh, I was gonna, I'll show you, did I show you this yet? I decided to put one of my new encaustics. I had an empty spot there. So this is an encaustic. I took that one up in um, Alexandria in the cemetery. And I had borrowed an umbrella from the, from the hotel where I was staying because it had been raining and it just, I just loved the, the contrast in the color. So anyway, so I put it there and I figure I can make three more encaustics using some of my different photos for the different seasons and I can switch it out each season. So that was my inspiration there. Um, oh yes, and my, I always put out my tea towels <laughs> or dishcloths, whatever they are. Um, and so the garden, I showed you the back. The back's still the same. Cleaned up out here a little bit. Um, so the back's okay. I mean, it's got the leaves. It's going to be composting there you know, over the winter and stuff. It's kind of warm out. It's supposed to cool off tomorrow. God, I'm so looking forward to it getting down in the 50s at night. Oh, and only the 70s during the day. Oh my God. So out here, I've got, I've got two pumpkins already. Plus my, do you want to come out? Come on out. Come on out, Avery, yay. I put some little chrysanthemums in my pots here, and I've got two like real pumpkins, and I've got my little ceramic one there, and I took my corn stalks and finally put them there. And so, really, all I'm still getting stuff. I'm still getting peppers from the garden and little cherry tomatoes. My Melissa has made a comeback. The mint's kind of meh, marginal. Um. And the uh, Jerusalem artichokes finally blooming. You know, everything's kind of sad right now. It's just, you know, that's the time of year it is. But there's all the buckwheat coming up. So I'm going to let that grow up and get to flower and then pull it out and just throw it back in. So that's doing well. I'm still picking tomatoes. Um, we had a lot of rain, so I don't need to water for a little bit. I've got a couple of few okra that are still doing really well. And that's the hibiscus. So, you know, everything's okay. I need to redo these berms and I'm gonna pick up, pick some, um, I'm gonna dig up some of the valerian root and do some valerian tinctures. Um, I might dig it up from the ones that came up in places where I don't really want them. And let's see, that's, that's really all to show you from the garden. That's, you know, it's looking kind of tired. It's looking like I'm feeling. <laughs> My jewel weed keeps blooming, which is kind of neat. I think I showed you that before. Getting some little yeah, I showed you that too. I'm showing you things over again. Avery, come back. Can't wait till the the um, Japanese maple starts to change color. It always has such pretty colors. Avery, come on, Avery, come on, come on, girl. Oh, got to itch first. Yeah, we'll see what things do because um, we had a long 
dry spell, or dry meaning no rain, in August. And then we got all this rain, so I don't, I'm going to be curious as to um, how the colors are. And that's about it. I just wanted to show you the, the fall decorations and um, my garden progress. <laughs> there was, somebody was looking at my zinnias out front, which are just barely, they're like really still trying to bloom, but they're just they're kind of mildewy and they're, they're tired. So there's a lot of stuff there that I'm going to need to pull up. And I think, I think I'm going to need to get another load of mushroom compost. Yeah, not as much as I got last time, but I want to dress all the areas that have perennials and some of the areas where I'm going to be pulling stuff out that doesn't even have perennials in it. And maybe get some more buckwheat seed because we've got let's see we've got probably two months of still temperature wise warmish weather uh, well month and a half and um, but the lights gonna be changing so stuff doesn't grow when the lights like that so I've got maybe another couple weeks to get some things planted and then that'll be it. So that's all for now. Bye.